All right, so I'm going to take a look at some of your homework problems. I think I might have just clicked close button by accident, so I'll get it back. And let's take a look at some of these here. All right, so starting off, number 20. It's asking you, what's the cosine of negative 540? I don't want you typing it into your calculator. This is what I wanted you to do. Recreate the graph. Usually whenever I'm drawing graphs, I go by 90 degrees. 90, right, let's see, I'm going to need a little bit more room here. And I know cosine at 0 was 1. And if you just look at the graphs or you start getting points into your calculator, um, negative 90 would be 0. Then it goes negative 1, 0, 1. 0, negative 1. This is what the graph would look like if you continued it out. And we could see that the cosine of negative 540 would be negative 1. That's what I wanted you to do. Number 22, it's asking you what's the cotangent of negative 45. So again, let's look at our graph. Cotangent looks like this. We had 90, 180. Negative 90, negative 180. And the way that we figured out what cotangent looked like, remember the period's 180, which means it repeats every 180 degrees, is we figured out what tangent was, and we did 1 divided by that. So the tangent of negative 45 would be negative 1. So the cotangent of negative 45 is 1 over negative 1. Ninety would be zero, one thirty-five would be one. Remember the graph looked like a cubic function, kind of like this, backwards a little bit. Cotangent of negative forty-five would be negative one. Number twenty-four. It's asking you what's the secant of zero. Well, secant. Remember where the parabolas. And the way we got secant is we did found cosine of zero and we did one over that. So I know the secant graph was parabolas, and starting out, so let's draw this here. I always go up by 90s. Negative 90, negative 90. Uh, cosine of 0 is 1, so secant of 0 would be 1 over 1. And then at uh, 45 degrees, it was 1.4, and then 90 was undefined. And then remember the graph uh, looked like a parabola. And then it repeats every 180 degrees. Uh, it was when you get the parabolas. This would be 360 degrees later. And the graph would be repeating. So we'll practice some more today. Uh, but So the secant of 0 then would be 1. For number 26. It's asking what's the cosecant of 270. Well, we already drew this graph. The way we got the cosecant is we figured out what sine was. I usually go up by 90 degrees. And sine uh, looked like this. And the cosecant, if we did one over those, so make your tables. Cosecant would be undefined. Then it would be 1 right here. Undefined whenever sine is 0. This would be negative 1. And then undefined right here. Graph would look like this. All right. The question is, what's the cosecant of 270? That's right here. And that would be negative 1. Let's try 28. 28 is a question kind of like what I asked you at the end of class yesterday. When is sine 1? Well, the sine graph looked like this. 90, 180, 70, 360. 
something like that. So when is it 1? Well, it's 1 right here at 90 degrees. When's the next time it's 1? Well, right here at 450 degrees. Eventually, remember what we said, every time you add the period, you get the same thing. The period is 360. 90 plus 360 is 450. So maybe the best answer for this would be 90 degrees plus every iteration of the period later. What you do is you figure out when it's 1, and then you just add the period after that. That's where the answer comes from. All right? Number 30. It's asking you when is cosecant negative 1. Well, I know the graph of cosecant because I know the graph of sine. Uh, so the graph of sine looked like this. That's the graph of sine. So the way that we get the graph of cosecant is we do 1 over those values. 1 over 0 is undefined. 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 0 is undefined. 1 over negative 1 is negative 1. And then if 360, if it's 0, then 1 over that would be undefined. So when is cosecant negative 1? Well, right here, because that's where the parabolas go. So the answer for this, like I told you, would be the answer, which is 270, plus the period. That would be what I was looking for for that. Let's keep going. I'm having a good time. I hope you guys are too. Number 32. Uh, it's how old I was 12 years ago. It's asking when is secant of theta 1? Well, the way we get secant is we look at the graph of cosine. The graph of cosine looked like this. Something like that. So when is secant 1? Well, if we take 1 over 1, we get that point for secant. 1 over 0, when y is 0, secant would be undefined. 180, cosine is negative 1, so secant's 1 over negative 1. If cosine 0 at 270, 1 over 0 is undefined. And this would be what the graph of secant would look like. So when is secant 1? Well, right here. Secant would be 1 at 0 degrees plus the period. Thirty-four. That's how old I was 10 years ago. It's saying when is, let's see, just graph sine. It looks like between negative 360 and 360 is what they want. Pretty easy. That's what we did yesterday in yesterday's lesson. Goes between 1 and negative 1. Whenever I'm graphing, I always go up by 90 degrees. And sine, in the beginning, between sine and cosine, the sine graph looks like an S. That's how you could tell the difference between sine and cosine. And if we just continue this, that's what it would look like. Something like that. Okay, we're almost done. We have a few more to do here. Number 36, it's asking us to graph cotangent of x. And we're going to do between 360, again, just like the last one. Uh, and remember, cotangent was the reciprocal of tangent. So tangent in the beginning looked like this. So cotangent of 0 would be 1 over 0, which is undefined. And I know cotangent repeats every 180, so it's going to be undefined again 180 degrees later, and 180 degrees later, 180 degrees before, and 180 degrees before. 
So I'm using the period to draw the graph. And I know cotangent looked like this. It was kind of like a weird cubic that was going the other way. All right, number 38 is asking to graph tangent. Uh, and that's same thing. And tangent of zero, remember we just talked about this, it was zero. If you type into your calculator at 90 and at negative 90, it's undefined. Tangent was a normal cubic graph. So if it's zero at zero, 180 degrees later, it'll be zero. 180 degrees later, it'll be zero. 180 degrees before and before, it'll be zero. So now, eventually, you'll get the hang of it. We know the shape of tangent was a cubic. My graph would look something like that. And it looks like we want to do two more here. Number 40, it's asking to graph y is equal to the sine of x. And it's saying we want just between negative 180 and 180. Sine, remember, in the beginning, sine looks like an s goes between 1 and negative 1. And that's what the graph of sine would look like. And then finally, number 42, it's asking to graph tangent of x uh, between 90 and 450. OK, not a big deal. So let's see here, 90, 180, 70, 360, 450. We just want the graphs between 90 and 450, but I'm going to draw more of that just so I have all the details that I need. All right, so I know tangent usually between 90 and negative 90, there's asymptotes. And it repeats every 180 degrees. So 90 plus 180 is 270, plus 180 is 450, and we get all the asymptotes. And then I know tangent looked like a normal cubic function. That's what you are expected to do. All right, stay tuned for today's lesson.